Good evening, YouTube. It's just going to be my review on the Cold Steel OSI, which I would say is a pretty, pretty underrated Cold Steel knife. Blade thickness is three and well three sixteenths of an inch. Blade is eight one fourth inches long. The handle I would say is five inches. Now normally when people do reviews and stuff on knives, they usually show the flat version. I'm going to show you this side. Because like you see the knife like this, you can't see the dimensions you don't know how flat this knife is or how thick the handle is but here's the handle it has a really good palm swell diamond checkering cross pattern and uh, the guards are rubber this this guard right here is tougher than this guard right here like at first the um the rubber is pretty stiff, but um, afterwards it starts softening up and stuff. Like, it's uphill, it softens up. Uh, this right here is the only thing that doesn't really soften up because it's very hard to push going the opposite way. Like, yeah, you get that leeway, but it's very hard to push. I don't think a knife will probably. It's, supposed to, it's designed to be a fighter, but I'm pretty sure if you saw the other YouTube videos, it, it could be more than a fighter. Personally, I say this is a non-dominant hand, like, my dominant hand is the right hand, and the knife is like, so-so, but when I use it in my non-dominant hand, it's fucking amazing. It's just unbelievable. It's just best for your offhand. And, um, a common misconception is that this blade is full flat grind, it's not it's it has a really shallow shallow hollow grind which makes cutting pretty pretty difficult like you'll feel the resistance it'll go straight through you'll feel but you'll feel definitely feel the resistance you can always um grind it down but you'll lose the thickness and that tip is just phenomenal uh when i got the knife i had to reprofile the edge Cause um that is a really thin, really thin bevel. Like I I can't tell if you see it, but really thin as compared to the tip. The tip is very, very sharp. Very shiny blade as well. Uh, I really like it. It's grips, it's, it's amazing. It's nothing really bad I can say about the blade, other than it not being full flat. It's hollow grind, but I, I really don't have a hollow problem with hollow grind. As far as survival will go, yeah, you could use it for survival purposes. I wouldn't say it's the best, but definitely, definitely possible. Uh, as far as the sheath go, um, I'm not really a fan of the sheath. It goes the inside because it has these things right here. That's that makes it really hard to pull the knife out. Like when you first get the knife, it's you're gonna have to really work out the sheath like a lot. And um it's something in here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but that little V right there. Once you put the knife in, it puts a lot of resistance on putting the knife in, which I really don't like. I wanna be able to just stick my knife in there. And you gotta put the knife in a certain way. Like what I usually do is let let the spine right against the back and then put it in. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed. Yeah. But as you saw, it's, it takes a little bit to put the knife in there. And then once you take it out as well, you can't just like pull it out. It gets stuck like right there. You can't just like one quick jab like with the K bar or um, the CRKT's um, high show or Hitatsu. It's, it gets stuck in once it gets past, um, like if I can show you, no, I can't show you, it gets, once it gets past, well, my bad for the glare, once it gets past this point right here, that's where it gets stuck, 
once it gets past that point, it just flies off. That point would be like right there. Once it gets right there, it just flies out. Uh, I took the belt loop off. But, um, the belt loop's pretty okay. I wish it was more flexible. Because you, so you can like mount it anywhere. I mean, you can mount it lower, it's just gonna cramp up on the blade and stuff. Um, that's really about it. I kind of sort of like the sheath. I mean, I don't really have the problem with sheaths. I kind of see now why sheaths don't even matter. So long as you can strap it onto something, it can be secure and it can come out fast and put it away fast. I'd rather have like a leather sheath that's molly compatible than this where it gets stuck. But uh, that's probably my only critique about the knife, is the sheath, and the not being flat grind. Alls 8A holds edge moderately well. Had it been something else, it would have been way better. Rather small laner toe, too. If you're going to put a paracord through here, you're going to have to singe it try to get a pin or a probe or something and like put it through there because that lanyard hold is pretty small. You barely put a shoestring in there but that's that's not cool. Trying to get you the dimensions of the knife. Sure retrospect of it. It does it is bigger on the back than it is towards the front, just like how it is right here. It's exactly how it looks. Decent palms well. Can fit the hand really well. I haven't tried these on with gloves yet. That's my niece, by the way. I haven't really tried these glove uh, knife with gloves on yet. But I'm pretty sure it will probably fill the hand up really well. Modified clip point or a Bowie style blade. Yes, that's, that is the Cold Steel OSI. I get this from um, Knife Center for about 65 bucks. And I live in Chicago, so it only took like, I got it on Monday, and it came here Friday, and I was on a Thanksgiving weekend. That's only because it would have came Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, but it was Thanksgiving, so yeah. Uh, you can actually get it for cheaper. The cheapest I've seen it was um, 45 bucks. I, I was kind of pissed off when I found that it was 45 bucks at Walmart, but I was thinking Walmart probably wouldn't send it out here because they, I don't know, they probably follow federal laws about knives and stuff. Because um, this is well beyond my like knife limit in my city. It's about three or two inches. I don't know. They change it all the time. It, it's probably legal to have a knife period in Chicago. Haven't really checked up on the laws yet, but I get it. You can find it for cheaper. Cheapest I've seen it was 45. Highest, high, highest I've seen it was um 85, which is just might as well shop around somewhere else. But that's just about it. Um, like I said, hollow ground blade, very thick, nicely thick. I would say nice anti-personnel knife. Which could be a different steel, so you can make it sharper. That tip is just amazing. It's um, it's not like most tips. It's like perfectly triangle. Mine's probably not. As, 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 no, yeah, it's it's triangular. I just can't get it to show on my iPod camera. It's it's triangular. It makes it really good for penetrating. Point of balance is literally. I have to do it this way. It's literally like right there. I do this because that seems easier to do it as, as, as opposed to doing it sideways. Like if you do it sideways, you're not going to use the knife this way. I mean, yeah, you would, but it's not like you're going to cut this way. So I do it this way. So you're definitely going to cut like this. So it's really well balanced. You can feel the heft when you need to. The point of percussion of this blade or, or the sweet spot. If you're gonna hold it like right here, 
point of percussion would be about right there. If you hold it like right here past the soap hilt, it moves it further to about right there. And if you really, it, it, the palm swell really helps. You can actually choke down even more if you pass the palm swell. It just means that, you know, point of percussion is just like right there, right with my finger. Well, right there. That's that blade for point of percussion. But other than that, it's a really sweet blade. Great for self-defense. Not, not self-defense. Great for offensive maneuvers and tactical uses. What I would suggest is um, get rid of whatever holds it in right there. You should try that out. Otherwise, I think it might make the knife shake around, but you should really try that out. Otherwise, the sheath will be fucking perfect if you can just slip it in take it out without no resistance. And that's just about it. I would suggest probably making a Kydex sheath for it. You can cut this off, make it even more of a um, survival knife. You can cut this and this off, make it look like a Falcon even. I think the A2, not sure. Definitely worth the money. It's one of those why not knives, you know. It's kind of underappreciated, in my opinion. But that is just about it. Thanks for thank you for watching, and have a nice day.